it and you're going to place it between your legs. If it's a toilet roll and that feels too thick, just leave it out. And then your feet will be as close as you can get them together, depending on what the block allows. But the closer you bring your feet together, the more connection your inner thighs will get. And it kind of feels like you wrap things together. It, to me, it feels like I solidify and I feel more grounded in the space. And then what I want you to do is just place your hands on your shoulders. Look down at your toes just for that moment and just spread them and just provide a nice anchor to the earth. If you're outside and on the grass, even better, feel your feet onto the grass. And then just roll your shoulders around by making nice, easy circles with your elbows around the world. Keep your knee joints relaxed. Keep your face relaxed. And then just feel how your heart enjoys this rising and almost dropping as your elbows lift and your heart lifts. And then take that in the opposite direction. Just feeling how your shoulders feel this morning. Keeping your toes spread and easy. And then we're going to take the right elbow back and then the left elbow back. So let's bend the knees with us. So actually have a bend in your knees so that we have more give through the chain. And then start to allow your chest to move a little bit. And then take it in the opposite direction. So one elbow and then the other one. And then bring that all the way back. Let's take the arms up, reach out of your pelvis, fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling or the sky, and then a little bend in your elbows or in your knees rather, as you do a slight bend to the left in your hips, swing right, come up, straighten it. Give me a small little back bend, release, stand straight, and a bend to the right in the hips, sway left. Give that block a nice press with the inner thighs. And a gentle little back bend. Soften the knees and go side. And we're just going to continue doing that motion. Open up your heart, release chest over hips, and then take your chest right and your hips left. Now see if you can stretch out your knees a little bit here, yeah? and then come back. An inclination of a back bend, release. If your arms need to be slightly further forward, please modify and squeeze the block and swing. And you'll see the more you squeeze the block, the more you can swing your hips because it's stabilizing you. And a gentle back and a small side. Good. And then we come all the way back. And I'm just going to turn so that you can see. We're going to take our arms out to the sides, bend the knees and give me a swallow dive, that beautiful flat back. Bring your hands onto the tops of your shins. Bring your weight forward and lean deeply forward into your toes. And then draw your chin to your chest, round your spine, and drop your head down towards the earth. Take a breath in and exhale. We're going to unroll all the way there, gently connecting the legs into the block, taking the arms up, inhale, exhale, we swallow down again, bend into the knees, flat back, good, place your hands onto your shins, look forward, stay there with your hands on your shins, I need to let Roger out. <laughs> Just did a downward dog, watch him in my face to get out the door. Okay, so from there, you're going to take that block out, if you've got the long side, if you've got a block rather, put the, long, the short side down so that you have a longer block and you're going to press into it there. Good. If you can't reach the block, then you leave it and you stay with your hands on your shins. And then from that position, you're going to bend your knees around your spine and we're going to roll all the way up to standing. Good. Holding on to the block in your hands. Take an inhale. Exhale, right leg up. And we're going to step that foot back into a high lunge. So step back as far as you need to, to find your high lunge. You're going to take the block in your right hand and you're going to do a big circle. You're going to look forward as you take it back. You're going to keep the block back there as your left arm circles. Then you're going to hold on with both hands, pressing your elbows long and wide. Transfer the block to your left hand. Circle the left arm back, hold the block in front of you. Circle the right arm back, hold the block there, take an inhale. Exhale, and we're going to turn to our right, and we're going to find our deep sumo squat position with the block above our heads. Take an inhale, exhale, bring the block to your breastbone, round your spine, cat stretch, drop it down a little bit. 
Inhale, lift, and we're going to do a slight back bend there. Let your heart and gaze look up at your block. And then again, exhale and round your spine. Inhale, lift. Good. And last cat, st cat stretch around your spine. And lift. Bring the block over your head. We're going to turn to the right. High lunge there. Plant your back heel down. Bring the block to breastbone height. Take it in your right hand. Circle over. Look forward. Hold it behind you. Left arm circles back. Hold the block there, press more into your front foot. Take it in your left hand, circle it over. Right arm, circle over. Take hold of your block. We press forward and we step all the way up. Hold. Good. You place your foot down. Take an inhale. Exhale, I'm going to send my bottom back and I'm going to sit into a chair pose and I want to be able to see my toes there. Hold that position. We take the block up over the head and then we stand up straight from there. And again, we're going to sit back, sit your sitting bones back, pull your knees back so you can see your toes. Give the block a little squeeze, hold, take it up over your head and stand up tall. And we go again, sit back, draw your sitting bones back, flatten out your spine, spread your toes, look that you can see your toes there. Squeeze the block a little bit, bring it over your head and we stand up tall. Bring the block to chest height. Right leg up. We step the right foot back. High lunge. We take the block to the left hand. Big circle. Hold it behind you. Right arm. Big circle. Grab hold of it there. Press, lean into it. Take it to your right hand. Big circle. Come back. Left hand. We reach. We're all going to turn to the right. And we're in our goddess pose or your sumo squat there. You take an inhale, you do a little back bend. You exhale around your spine and we squeeze in the block. We inhale, drop your shoulders. Exhale. We're going to do that two more times. Spread your toes and round. Last time. And round. Come to neutral, we're going to turn to the right. You're in a high lunge here, find your position, feet parallel. We're going to press forward into the front foot and we're going to step up, place it down. Take a breath in, breathe out, bend your knees and we swallow it up. Good. From here, we're going to pitch forward, put the block down on its long side. If that's too low for you, if you need more height, there you go. Okay. We're in our halfway lift, we hold that position. We're going to bend the knees more so we can get the hands down and we're going to step back and then land the knees. And I want you to turn the block onto its lower side. Or if it's a toilet drop, you decide which version you want. So we're going to press the hips forward, untuck the toes. We're going to keep the fingers spread, elbows come in. And you're going to bend your elbows and you're going to stop just as the block touches your breastbone. Pick up your head. Hold. Push away. Tuck your toes, sit back, lift your knees, bring your ribs to your thighs, press your bottom up into the morning sky. We come forward again, a momentary plank. We land the knees, press the hips forward, bend your elbows, press them into your ribs and come to the, close to the rock as you can, pick up your head. We push away, sit back, lift your knees, lift your bottom, Ribs to your thighs. We do that one more time. We swing forward, strong plank. Land your knees, press your hips forward. And then we press the elbows inwards. Connect your ribs and your elbows. Bring yourself to your block. Pick up your head. Press away. Sit back. Lift up. And we find a beautiful downward dog there. And we tail it up. Lift both heels up, bend your knees, look towards your block, step one foot to it, step the other foot to it, pick the block up, put it back between your inner thighs, above your knees, bend your knees and roll up to standing, connect deeply into that block. Standing tall, bring your feet closer together so that you can feel that you are squeezing into the block.
We take the arms up. This time, take hold of your right wrist, and we're going to lean to the left, squeeze the block. Now, see how much more you can lean. This time, I want you to swing through center. Go all the way to the right. Change the grip of your hand so that you're pulling your right, uh, your left wrist with your right hand. Swing your hips to the left. Drop through center. Roll. Come up through the left side. Change the grip. Holding onto the right wrist. Straighten out your knees. Swing your hips right and go, go, go. And again, through center you roll. Change the grip. You're holding onto the left wrist. Drop your head onto your right bicep, swing your hips to the left. Good, we come through center, at center we drop, we roll all the way down, inhale. Exhale, slowly roll up, press your thighs into your block. All the way up, taking it out of your arm between your knees, holding onto it there again. We're going to take an inhale. Exhale, as your right leg comes up, you press that block forward. Hold the position there. Find your balance. We're going to step that right foot. Big step back into a high lunge. Bring the block over your head. Give it a good squeeze there as you anchor the back heel down. Bring it to breastbone height. Now transfer it into the palm of your right hand. Okay, let's imagine it's a tray with coffee. <laughs> and you really want this coffee, you don't want to spill it. I want you to take that tray up over your right shoulder. Don't spill your coffee, your cappuccino. Take your left arm forward, turn, look back at it. Good. So now we're adding rotation. Keep your coffee in your mug. <laughs> I like me. Keep it in your mug. Come back. <laughs> and again. If you don't focus, it's quite difficult to rotate and focus on that. Good. And again. Keep your coffee in your mug. Woo. All the way back. Good. We're going to transfer ourselves now and open out into our goddess position, holding that position. Take an inhale. Exhale. We come up and we're still keeping the coffee in that mug as we turn the palms up to the ceiling and then we come down. So my focus is on keeping that right hand stable and come down. Nice and deep. See how much you can get out of this. And come up, hands over shoulders. Can you keep that coffee in your mind? Which means you need a lot of flexion at your wrist there. This is your last one. And come all the way down. We're going to turn over to our right. Good. Pressing into that foot. And you're going to transfer the block to your left hand. And we're going to step up. Hold. Take the block in both hands. And place your foot down. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. We sit back. Pull your knees back so that you can see your toes. Sit back. Bring the block over your head. As your block comes forward, you're going to step your left foot back. Press into the heel. So we're in a deep low lunge. We step it back. We keep both knees bent. We step the right foot back. Gentle squeeze into your block. We step it back in. We step the left foot back. Press into the back heel there. We come back last time. We step the right foot back. We come back. We sit deeply into our chair pose. Pull your knees back. Bring the block over your head. Bring it forward and stand up tall. Take a breath in. Exhale, right leg comes up. Hold your position. We step back, high lunge. Transfer the block to your left hand. Drop your shoulders. Okay, coffee is now in, on the left, uh, in the tray on the left hand, and we bring it up over the shoulder. Reach your right arm forward. Don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. It's precious and it's hot. Woo, you've got to keep your eye on it so that you don't spill it. But you also have to try not to fall over. And again, deep lunge. Keep the front knee bent. Breathe. I think next week I'm going to tell you to make coffee and bring your coffee to the mat and then we'll do it for reals. Good. And all the way back. Watch your coffee. I think we've got one more to go. As I take that arm up and over, I send the right arm forward. And back. That was your last one. 
Good, from here, we're simply gonna turn open to the right and sit into a deep sumo squat. Then we're gonna stand tall, bring the hands over the shoulders, flex the wrists, press the palms up to the ceiling. Come back down. Just so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking it up and I'm turning my fingertips to face away. That's the only way I can do it. Okay, and again. All right, we come down to sit. We're all gonna to turn to the right. Hold, hold that coffee in place as you lift up. Transfer the block to both your hands. Place your feet side by side. Take a breath in. Exhale, send your bum back. Good, we're gonna go into our forward fold. Put the block down on the ground. Hands on your shins, halfway lift. Good, come down, hands outside of the block. Step your feet back, drop your knees to the earth. Good, tuck your elbows in and we come forward. Lift your head up. Good, pick up your head, sit back, lift up and into a doggy go. We come forward, plank, land your knees. Sit back for a moment, take your block to the side. We're gonna go full chaturanga. Come all the way forward, bend your elbows into your sides. Go, 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 pick your head up, then stick your bum out, dive down, pull yourself through your arms, untuck your toes, and then I want you to lift your hands up. Press your elbows inwards and your hands are touching your sides. Good, now tuck your toes, put your hands down, and lift your knees up. Keep that position, we put your knees down, press up, straight up into a dog you go. We bend the knees, we look forward, we step the left foot, we step the right foot, hands onto our shins for a halfway lift, hands to the heart, and stand up tall. Good, adjust your wardrobe, take your arms up, inhale, exhale, arms to your sides, right leg up, spread your toes. Step your foot a big step back, land your heel. Take your arms up, turn your palms backwards, frame your face. Pitch forward into your front foot a whole lot. Straighten out your back foot. Drop your right arm, turn to your right. Warrior two, back foot 45 degrees, palms in line with shoulders, weight goes forward, opening up into the hips. Good, we glance forward over the front fingers. Then we straighten out the front leg. We lean forward like we're reaching to find something off a shelf there. Then we turn the palm in and we slice through. This is where you might need a block on the inside of your left foot, either on its short end or its long end, or you can reach to the floor. Okay, toilet roll will do just as well. Straighten out your front foot. Try not to lock into the front knee, so have softness. And then find an energetic press into the outside of your right foot. Let's gaze up at the right hand. I'm gently pushing the earth away with my left hand, but I'm not sinking there. So there's a beautiful openness between left ear and left shoulder. We're gonna soften the front knee, come up. We find ourselves in our warrior two again. Then I'm gonna let my left arm rest on my left thigh, drop the right arm, sweep it through energetically to come in line with my cheek. Take the weight off this left arm, push more into your right foot. And then turn that left arm to you look forward. Hold. Good. From here, we're going to straighten out both legs. Okay. We're going to pitch again and we're going to drop down again. Then from there, we're going to bend the knee and turn immediately into a low lunge. We're gonna straighten the front leg again. Good. And we're gonna turn from there immediately into that triangle, placing your hand forward again. You're gonna bend into the front knee, turn, low lunge. Straighten out your back leg. Start to straighten the front leg, turn again into your triangle. So your feet must move. Move your hand to the front of the block. Good, we turn again, low lunge. Last time, come out of it. Front foot straight, back foot 45 degrees. Look up at your top hand. 
bend your front knee for the last time, we meet in warrior two. Good. We turn to face left, pressing into the back foot. Find your first position there. Frame your face, turn your palms backwards. Press into the front foot. Find your balance. Take your time, step it up. Hands to your heart. Probably gonna land on my block now. And feet side by side. All right, so we get ready to do the other side. So you don't want to block close by. Hands to your heart. Take an inhale, sweep. Exhale, lift leg up. Step back. Big step back. Energetically land the back heel. Sweep your arms up. Turn your palms to face backwards. Pitch into the front foot, but anchor the back foot. Let your shoulders go. We drop the left arm, we open out. I like to broaden my stride here, and I'm in my second position. Front knee looking over second toes, arms nice and relaxed, sink it nice and deep, shoulders over your hips. We gaze over the front fingers. We straighten out the front leg, we turn the palm in, and we reach, 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 reach. Then we slice down, use your block there if you need it. Unlocking the front knee and then looking up towards the top hand. Bend into the front knee, release. Warrior two. Drop your right arm onto your right thigh. Left arm sweeps through, comes in line with the cheek. Reach out, turn your right arm to face forward. Sink low. We rewind, we come back, warrior two. Straighten out the front leg again, we reach forward again, drop down. And then we bend and we transition into a lower lunge, turning the hips and the feet. Back foot straightens out. We rotate the back foot again, we press into the front foot, find your triangle. Bend your front knee, turn, lower. Straighten that back leg out, I got lazy. Turn again, press into the front foot, be energetic into the knife edge of your back foot, and lean. We've got one more to go. We turn, press into the front and the back foot, so you're kind of stretching your mat forward and backwards, and we come out of this one for the last time, reach it out. Bend the knee, lift the arms up to shoulder height. Get ready to turn and transition to warrior one. So I step that back foot in, bring the arms up, turn the palms back. Press your weight into your front foot, push up, bring the leg in, hands to the heart. And slowly down, move the block out of the way. Good, we're gonna swallow down, arms up. Bend your knees flat back, stick out your bottom. Dive to the earth. Halfway lift, either use your block or hands on your shins, whatever you want to do. Knees as bent as they need to be, or they can be straight. Okay, we're going to move the block out the way, bend, put your hands down, you step back. I'm going to do the full plank version, you can have knees landing, but we're all going to bring the elbows in for that moment we tuck them into the ribs, then we come down and we draw our nose through, we pull through and up. You can do this version or you can go straight to upward dog and to downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Roll through a plank, land your knees or don't land your knees, press your elbows into your sides, come down a hold and then dip your face, pull yourself through, bring yourself up. So play with the version that you enjoy and up you come. We're going to bend into the knees, step the right foot through, step the left foot through, deep bend, sweep your arms back, sweep your arms forward and find a chair. Sit nice and deep, pull the sitting bones backwards. Take an inhale, exhale, step your right foot back, press back into that heel, immediately bring your arm over and we open into a very wide sewer squat and we sit. We stand up nice and tall. As we squat again, we bring the elbows into the back of the ribs a little bit. Just change the positioning of your feet if you need to. And again, reach. 
and back and reach and back good we reach again this time bring your arms to shoulder height we turn to the right Woo, okay now my left leg is straight and i'm in my chair pose okay well i'm in my squat chair pose and i come feet together there's my chair sit nice and deep take an inhale exhale step your right foot back Get ready for your transition, drop your front arm, open your toes, and you're in a nice deep squat with your feet really wide. We come up, inhale, exhale, elbows into the back of the ribs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, inhale, reach, exhale, bend. And again, inhale, reach, exhale, bend. We reach again, and this time arms stay straight. We get ready to transition on the right foot to the right. Deep bend in the front knee, so it's a low lunge. Now, this is hard. Put your weight forward, get ready for your chair pose. Step, and it's a beautiful landing, and we pull the hips back, we can see the toes. Take an inhale, stand up. Exhale, chin to your chest, and you roll down. Bend your knees, land your hands, step your left foot back, step your right foot back. Take a breath, hold. Exhale, hips up, downward dog. Breathing in, come forward. Now as you go up again, you lift your right leg for a three-legged dog. You come back, you land the foot. And up again, left leg. Come back, land the foot. Right leg. Come back, land the foot. Last time, left leg. Land the foot. Good. We bend the knees, we sit back deeply. Step, walk or jump, feet to hands. We bring our hands up the shins for a halfway lift. Good. From our halfway lift, we're going to transition to your chair pose, which means my arms go up, my bum sits back down, and my knees pull back. So it's a variation of that halfway lift. I'm going to pull my knees up and back so I can really see my 10 toes. And I'm going to step my right leg back again. Press that heel firmly into the earth for a moment. Good. And then I open out into my deep squat or my goddess position again, sitting nice and deep. I'm going to transition immediately back to where I just came from. <sighs> Drop nice and low and come out of it again and sit nice and deep. Go back. Woo! So we have to learn to move on our feet very quickly. So the feet are 45 degrees and then the feet go parallel. We're going one more time. Back leg is now straight and open out. <sighs> We stand up tall and you the straight in your knees. You exhale, bring your elbows into the back of your heart. This time, transfer your hands to the back of your head. Give me a little back bend and then stand up tall. Now, bring your right elbow down to your right side. And we sit in the middle. We take a little back bend. We release. We grow tall. Left elbow to left waist. We sit down in the middle. Do a little back bend. We release. We take the arms out. We're going to turn to the right. Get ready to step your left foot next to your right foot. And we're in our chair pose and we sit back nice and deep, shoulders down the back. From here, right leg steps out, straight leg. We transition immediately and we're in our deep sumo squat, really deep. We turn on the feet, we go back to a low lunge. So I sink low and I stretch long with the back leg. I come back, woo, nice and deep. We turn nice and deep. And again, drop the arm, squat, and back. And last time to open, we stand up tall, inhale. Exhale, elbows to the back of the ribs, hands to the back of the head. Take a breath as you go back, stand up tall. And again, sit, squat, a little back bend, tall, we stay tall, elbow to hip, and up, elbow to hip, and up, we sit, spread your toes, little back bend, grow tall, elbow to hip, elbow to hip, we sit, squat, we release the arms, we turn to the right, deep lunge, go deep, 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 now get ready to step your left foot to your right, beautiful, nice transition, sit back, take an inhale, exhale, and we stand up beautifully tall, bring the arms around, hands to your heart, let your heart rate release. So feel the beat of your heart back into your hands and mind's beating nice and hard. 
We're going to give it a moment there just to settle, becoming aware of the earth underneath your feet. Good. Once we have some calmness, we're going to keep the hands to the heart, take a breath, exhale, and we're going to swallow dive forward. Once you're in your swallow dive, you take your hands and you press your hands away from you, flexing at the wrists. Good. Then you look down to the earth, you place your hands, you step, walk, or jump out, find your plank. Before we do our chaturanga, we do a downward dog. We come back, we do a three-legged dog. We come back, and again, other side. Good, we hold our plank, we're ready for our chaturanga. You take that block out the way, bend your elbows, dip your face in water, dip your chest, stick your bum out, pull through. Upward dog, if you wanted to go there, roll over your toes, and up you go, walk those feet in just a little bit. Hold and breathe. Good. We're going to pitch forward into a plank. I want you to bring your right knee into your chest. Back is flat. Drop your right knee, touch the earth. Drop. What are you thinking about touching? It might not touch. Good. Last time. Now keep that knee into your ribs as much as you can. Lift your hips up. Good. Keep your knee into your ribs as much as you can. Back is flat. Drop. Lift. Drop. Lift. Keep the lift. Lift your bum. Good. Extend your leg. Plank. Left leg up. Come forward. Straight spine. Bring the knee in. Straight spine. So it's not a cat stretch. Drop the knee. Lift. It's not a hip drop. I'm dropping my knee. So it's not a bum up and down. Good. That's your last one. Tuck your knee in. Lift your bum up. Ooh. Come forward. Drop your knee. Lift your knee. Drop. Lift. Keep the lift of the knee, lift up, extend your leg, swing forward, plank, hold, breathe in, work your way through your flow. Land your knees here, pull through, bum up, draw yourself long and forward, come up, roll over. We're going to step the right foot forward, hold it into a low lunge. You're going to probably want both your blocks here. So just place them forward there. I'm going to take my weight into my front foot. Okay, until I can get my balance and come up. You're going to take your hands forward either onto the floor or onto the block. Okay, and all my weight's on my foot, my front foot, and maybe a little bit on the blocks. And then I'm going to take that left leg up. And I'm going to bring my heel to my bum. My right knee is still slightly bent, that's fine. Try and turn your left hip to look at the ground. Good. Now stay, bring your left knee into your chest, push into your right foot, and could you come to standing tall? Slow as you need to. Good work. From here, can you rewind that? Slow as you have to do it. There's no rush. Find your blocks when you're ready. Transition to a long leg. Front leg bends, back leg lands softly. You're in a low lunge with or without your blocks. Good. Place your hands down, put your weight into your hands. Get that knee into your chest like we practiced. Three-legged dog. Land the foot, clap. Bum up. We're going to step that left foot through to a low lunge. Spread those toes already, we're getting ready. So we're going to push forward here, and we're going to put the weight into the front foot. You might already want to take your hands forward onto your block. Press up. Find your balance. Use your blocks if you need them. Good. And we're going to take that left leg into a slight bend, right leg lifts, hip pointing down, heel to the bum, and out. Heel to the bum, and out. Keep your heel to your bum. Bend your supporting knee. Bring your right knee in. Ooh, and see if you can come to standing. Take your time. Okay, you already know what you need to do. So you're going to make your way back down again. 
My focus here is to try and keep my balance, not to get to stand up or to go down. It's what happens in between. Okay, hands on the block. You extend that leg. Now you bend your supporting knee and you softly land your back foot. You're in your low lunge. You take your weight into your hand so that you can free your back, uh, your front foot rather, and three-legged dog. Land into a plank and work your way through your flow. If you're tired, please go into your rest position. And we're gonna go. Tuck those elbows in, pull through, lift up the bum, draw your heart space forward, roll over if you're doing this version, walk your feet in and pedal it out. And just stay in pedal. Try to let your shoulders find some ease. Okay. So we're going to stall the feet, step, walk, or jump, feet to your hands. Right, so halfway lift with or without the block. We're going to pull the arms forward this time, and then as the arms pull back, we're going to come up into our chair pose. Look down, pull your knees backwards. Okay, take an inhale. Exhale, pull your arms forward. Look down, drop into your halfway lift. Hands on the floor or hands on your shins. Reach for one of your blocks. Take hold of it between your hands. Pick up the block, pick up your heart, and you're in your chair pose. Squeeze the block between your hands. Nice and firm. Okay, we are going to place the weight onto the left foot. Try come to balance on the, on, the, on the left foot, bringing the right foot up, then step it back. Good. We are going to take the block onto our right hand. We're going to take it up and over, back foot is straight. We're going to follow it. Then we're going to bend the elbow and bring it through. We're going to half circle it up and over, we're going to bend the elbow and bring it through. What if we rewind that? Bend your elbow, take it under your armpit, keep your coffee safe, reach it back, rewind that. Come all the way back, hold your block in both hands, and we come back to chair pose. Nice and deep. Can you see your toes? Relax your shoulders. We step back, I'm sorry, we take the weight into the right foot, find your balance, Lift your left leg. When you've got your balance, you step back, nice and long stride. Transfer your coffee to your left hand. We take a circle overhead. We watch that cup intently. We bend the elbow and we bring it forward. And again, circle over. Reach forward with the front arm, bend into the front leg. We bend the elbow. Now we reverse. We bend the elbow, we take the coffee under the armpit, you might want to transfer that coffee. You bring it back again. What's happening with your front leg and your knee? Just have a quick glance there. The last time, transfer it under, try not to fall over. And back. If you go too fast like I just did, you lose the plot. Good, transfer the block back between your hands. Back foot should be straight. Take your weight to your front foot. Chair pose. Take an inhale, exhale, we stand up. Good. Block is over your head. Take a breath in. On your exhale, right leg up, step it out nice and wide, and we sit back down into our deep sumo squat. From here, I'm going to, I'm going to transfer the block to this position. I'm going to push off my right foot onto my left leg. So let me just go there again. That's what I'm looking for, and land. Same thing, same side. So I'm pressing the block away. Now I'm going to see if I can find a moment's float and back. Float and back. Stay. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Just find it first. And then we take that foot off. Land. Squeeze that block. Find a moment's balance. <laughs> and land. So we're just playing around with all these different positions and transitions and challenging things a little bit, and land. Come to stand up nice and tall. Toe heel your feet together. Good, bring your block forward. Bend your knees and swallow dive. Bend the knees a lot, put the block down. Halfway lift. 
and we go down, we land the hands, we step up to a full plank. You're gonna wanna move your block out the way there. Take an inhale, exhale, land your knees. Sit back, take a breath. Cat stretch your spine, sit your sitting bones back. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, roll, sit back. Breathe in, come forward. Last time, exhale, sit back, and we're gonna untuck the toes and find our first rest position of the day. Okay, 40 minutes in and I'm letting you rest. I'm so kind. Ooh, have a little breathing, you've earned it. We take a few nice long easy breaths here. And it's just a nice time to kind of check in with yourself. Don't you feel alive? 40 minutes ago you were probably still just two minutes out of bed. <laughs> And now you are warm and alive and invigorated, hopefully. All right, let's roll ourselves all the way up to a seated position. And let's stay here a little bit on the earth. Okay, bring one of your blocks back between your knees. We're gonna find ourselves in a beautifully erect spine, take the arms forward. Anchor your legs into that block and you're gonna roll back halfway. Cat stretch, scoop, waistband of the pants down. If you can, lift your feet, lower your feet, and then roll back. If that's too much for your back, you simply do the half roll back and you return. Either way, I want everyone to really squeeze the block. I'm doing my half roll back, my feet come in, I find that teetering position, and then when I'm ready, I need to pull my abdominals in deeply to my spine that gets my feet up. If I don't, I'm gonna arch my back like I just did, and that's gonna hurt my back. So really be mindful of whether it serves you to lift your feet or not. And if you do, how are you doing it? Half roll back, deep scoop of the belly, deep squeeze on the block, and we pick it up. Ooh, that's hard, it's really, really hard. Squeeze that block firmly, and down, and sit back up. And again, halfway, half roll back, scoop. If you're struggling, hold on to your thighs and lift up. Good, now let's all see if we can get our feet up. Now lift up your chest and that will be a little bit easier because we're going to roll back. So come up. If you're struggling in this position, hold on or tuck your toes down to the earth. Good, we're going to squeeze that block nice and hard. Let's flex the feet. Press your heart over your kneecaps. Hold for three, for two. Squeeze your block a little harder for one. And we're going to put the feet firmly down and we're going to roll down through the spine. All the way down to the earth. Well done. Take your block, put your pelvis on top of your block. So you're sitting on it. You feel, you should feel quite nice and comforting on your pelvis. Okay, from there extend your left leg out so that the top of the thigh is dropping off the edge of the block and then draw your right knee in towards you. If you don't have a block, you can try the toilet roll. We've done that before, otherwise just do it without. Or you can roll up a big towel, but it's fine to do it without anything. Hug your right knee slightly more into your chest and allow your left leg to drop off the edge of the block a little bit more. So even if you use your left hand to encourage that left thigh to lower down, and then lengthen your left leg away, hug your right knee firmly in. When you're ready as you breathe out, you're going to change legs. You let your left leg come in. Your right leg lengthens long and away. And if you need to encourage that right leg to lengthen and drop off. And then placing your feet down onto the earth. You're going to lift your hips. If you've got a block, you can take your block onto its long side and feel how that feels. Otherwise, keep the position you were in. And wherever you're at, we're just going to stay for two breaths. If you're wanting to take the block out and just hug your knees in for those two breaths, that's also fine. I'm just giving you options for the block. Just another breath cycle here. And then when you're ready, you remove the block and you're going to articulate all the way down through the spine. All right, move your block out of the way. 
Take your arms really wide and bring your legs up to tabletop. We're going to do a variation of the hip rolls. It's one of my favorites that I've been playing with. We're going to take the pelvis and the legs over to the right. Then pull your right leg back and down and your left leg goes up and over. Up and over. So it's a rotation twist. Then come back, lift your left leg first. Lift your right leg up. Legs together in the center. We hip roll to the left. Your left leg goes down and back. Your right leg comes up and over. So you're like a little running man lying on your side. Right leg comes up, left leg comes up, they meet in the middle. We roll over. Right leg pulls back and down so that left leg can go up and over. Meanwhile, I'm anchoring my left shoulder blade. It's a really nice stretch for the sacrum, the back of the pelvis. Let's bring the left leg up, the right leg joins, connect the legs in the middle, move over to your leg. Left leg pulls back and down, right leg up and over. Right leg comes up, left leg comes up. In the middle, you join the legs together, you bring your arms to your sides, you extend the legs up. We're going to go over for a plow or a rollover position. Pressing into your arms, lift up and roll yourself over. Keep the weight on your shoulder blades, not on your neck. If you want, you can put your feet down, tuck your toes in. You could also support your pelvis here. Your head should be able to roll free because you're not weighting down your head. If you don't like this position, come down and have a little breather. This is a nice stretch for the back line. Obviously, your knees can be quite bent. I quite like a version where I pump the knees one and then the other. And we're just going to hold this because it's a really nice back line stretch. It's stretching the fascia from the soles of your feet to your forehead to your eyebrows actually, your whole back line. And then you can add a double leg stretch and bend. I'm pressing quite firmly into my upper arms. So I've got a shelf of support across my shoulders and my arms for the weight of my legs. Good. And maybe you just wanna hold the stretch still for a moment. And what I quite like to do here is pump my heels back towards the earth. And that just intensifies the stretch. Let's see what I'm doing now. It's an ankle joint movement, not a knee joint. And then when you're ready, bring your legs together and very slowly and with ease, just make your way back down to the earth, allowing your spine to find length as it finds a neutral position through the joint spaces. Slowly bend your knees in towards you. That was quite a lot of low deflection. So bring them in, open out your knees. Your hips should be quite comfy in this position after all those goddess squats. And let's find our happy baby. So lift your knees up. Let's have a moment of just assisting that baby, bringing the knees in with the hands in the back of the pelvis. And then take your arms to the inside of your knees and the inside of your arches. Then take your hands over the tops of your feet and hold on to the outside of your feet. Or you can do your Peace fingers, big toe growth as well, whatever you want to do. And we're just going to stay here and breathe a little bit, encouraging knees to armpits. My bottom is lifted off the mat. If it can, let it. Oh, and Roger thinks we're done. It's down with dog, Rog. Good boy. Good. We're going to stay here for another two breaths. And another breath. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of your feet together, press the soles of your feet together, and just enjoy that contact of heels, balls of the feet and the toes. It's not often that the feet get to connect like this, and it's quite a nice feeling. And then very slowly lower your heels down towards the floor, as close to your pelvis as you can get it. Bring your arms out to your sides. And then we're going to roll our knees together. Bring the knees all the way in towards you. Hold on to the base of the kneecaps, chin to the chest. Then we're going to start a nice, easy rock here. Give the back an additional little release with a massage. And then we're going to come all the way up and sit up tall. 
and we're going to bring the soles of the feet together again, but this time a little bit further away. If you've got a yoga strap or a TheraBand or a belt or something, you're welcome to grab it now. I'm going to grab my yoga strap. Don't have to have it. I didn't tell you to have it, but if you want the assist, you're welcome. Let's take left leg out to the side. We did a lot of leg work, so just, just working to a bit of release. We can have the left toes pointing up to the ceiling. Softening into your left knee, and we're going to turn to face that left leg. So this is where you might want to use your strap. And with that left knee still bent, I just want you to slide your fingertips forward, elongating your heart. So once again, if you want to use your very handy blocks to keep your spine straight so that you don't end up crouching forward, you can do that here. Okay. The other option is now to use your strap around the soles of your feet and then pull up there and extend. So you might want to play with these different versions. I quite like this because this keeps your back out of it. We hear when we lean forward, we feel like we're getting a deep stretch, but a lot of it is just pulling on the back. To see what you're feeling, making sure that the stretch is in the back of your hamstring, the back of your thigh, rather than the back of your knee. Yeah. Let's all come to the position where we're sitting here. And then glide your uh, left hand onto your left shin, bring your right arm to your cheek, and I want you to turn that arm in a big circle and then slide your left hand. And maybe you can grab your foot, maybe you're just pushing onto the floor or even your block. So you just want to have something to anchor from as you turn and look back towards your right hand. So it's kind of an arm opening here. Maybe your left knee can still be bent, but still fine. Good. Then I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to dive it over towards my left toes. Grab them if you can, or another beautiful opportunity to use your strap here to get yourself closer to your foot. The variations. You can take your left hand to your right knee now. And breathe. Allow the bones of your skeleton to really soften and relinquish and just sink to the earth. Keep your left hand on your right knee, sit up tall. Place your right hand behind you. Twist over to the right. Put your right hand down on the floor. Lift your left arm up and you can feel how this is going to progress as you roll onto your right shin. Press up through your back hand and really open up that whole left line. Draw yourself back down to the earth. And we're going to bring ourselves over to the other side immediately. So right leg goes out. Comfortably out. Left foot where it feels um, sustainable for your hip. And we're going to turn towards that leg. And your options are your blocks or no blocks. Either way, try to keep your spine straight. The other option is to take hold of that foot with a strap. You can keep your knee as bent as you need to, as long as the stretch, as I said, is in the back of your thigh. And then come to sit up a little bit, pressing through. I'm going to take my right hand onto my right shin. Then I'm going to open my left arm to the side. You look at it as it goes. Turn, 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 turn. Slide that left hand. Maybe you can grab your foot. Maybe you're just pushing off the floor. See what's accessible. Turn. And then I'm going to take this left arm, swing it over to reach towards my right foot. Or I grab that trusty strap. <laughs> or not. <laughs> and I pull there. So don't think of this as a holding one. This is a letting go. So have a little moment of checking in with your shoulders, with your face, where your energy is placed, and soften that energy. Now you can take your right hand to your left knee. Maybe you get a better twist. Keep your right hand where it is and sit yourself up. Bring that arm around, place it behind you, and twist a little bit there. Lift your ribs off your pelvis, elongate your neck. 
place your left hand down, right arm up to your cheek, and feel how you're going to roll onto that left shin, so prepare for it, and up you come. Avoid any collapsing into your left shoulder. You be really energetic in that left shoulder. Good, and we slowly seat ourselves all the way back down. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together again, and we're making our way back onto our backs for a minute of Shavasana breathing, and it's only one minute. So I invite you into the zone of patience, okay? Bring the soles of your feet together, press them together, bring the palms together, press them together. So feel that equal and balanced connection between hands and feet, and then roll back down, align the softness in your body as you articulate your spine to the earth. Drag your feet closer towards you, bring your arms in a big circle, bring them all the way around to your sides, just wide of your mat. And then you're going to take your left leg out to one corner of the end and the right leg to the other corner and you simply flop those legs open. Maybe do a little rock from side to side, a little pelvic tilt, a little head roll just to kind of settle all your bones. And then when you settle, you let your eyeballs settle into their sockets, which means the skin over the eyes can relax. The muscles between the eyebrows completely soften. All the lines across your forehead softens. And you almost look as though you're about to smile. Okay, we're going to employ a little bit more patience and we're going to come out of this position the way we went into it. So we're going to rewind. You're going to bring your left foot back in, bending the knee. Bring your right sole of foot to touch the left. Feel that connection between your feet. Bring your arms overhead, connect your hands there. Bring your arms over your chest. Draw your chin to your chest and start to roll up. Lifting the knees just a little bit and bringing yourself all the way up. Finding your seat, bringing your arms up, big circle, touch the hands behind you, press into the fingers, let your heart lift, let it be free. Keep that freedom in your heart as you push forward a little bit to release your hands. Reach energetically out of your pelvis one more time, turn your palms back. Let's gaze up at those reaching fingertips. And then relax, drop your shoulders down your back. Final connection of hands to your heart. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you feel so grateful that you made it to your mat and that you have a body that moves. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much.